It's Press Pass with Jack Ebling, Mid Michigan Spirited Sports Debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Good morning, Mid Michigan and beyond, and welcome to a special Super Sunday edition of Press Pass here on Fox 47, kicking off 13 hours of football, joined by a very special group. Team 332, Doug Warren. He is our Detroit Lions and NFL historian. He is the sports director for the Spotlight Radio Network, and he has been the producer of The Drive with Jack from day one back in 2013. It's your kind of day, Doug Warren, 13 yeah. hours of football. Uh, it's the only reason I would get up uh, <laughs> at 10 o'clock and be in here way earlier than that to get ready for the show is, is for something like this. Otherwise, I'd be still at home probably uh, laying around doing nothing. And you're not someone who likes to get together with a big group and party no, and all that. Right? The game's too important. Game. You got to focus on the game. I don't know, Super Bowl parties and the the commercials and the halftime show. I don't care about any of that. I want to I want to concentrate on the game. He's not really antisocial, ladies no, and gentlemen. No, no. I just football serious is, football's football. big. Right. Big deal. We're also joined by Jim Keaton Jr. He is a proud Eastern Quaker and Arizona State Sun Devil. He also played with the New England Patriots, Denver Broncos, Arizona Wranglers, and he is a fellow member of the Greater Lansing Area Sports Hall of Fame. How are you, Jim? I'm doing well, Jack. It's good to be here. Uh, looking forward to today. I think uh, we've got two, two really good teams that are going to go at each other. Yeah. And I think for the first time in a long time, we're going to have a really exciting game that comes down to the last second. Uh, for the victor. So I'm really looking forward to it. And unlike Doug, I'm going to make sure I hit a few parties before the game starts. I got you. <laughs> well, having been an NFL player, you know the excitement, the adrenaline that goes on before kickoff. But for something like the Super Bowl, it's un it's it's unbelievable. You know, I was fortunate enough to be involved with two teams that that went, one I wasn't a part of, but one I, I had yeah. the, the pleasure of being a part of. And it's it's a it's a game that you get ready for and you're 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 stoked and ready to go. No question. Also want to welcome, for the first time to Press Pass, Paul Bobbitt. He is a hard-hitting defensive back for Michigan State in the mid-80s, and he is a George Perlis, Nick Saban protege. And also, he is a respected agent with VIP Sports Management, ladies and gentlemen, where he represents Mark Ingram. Absolutely, absolutely. Like you said, Mark Ingram, <laughs> VIP Sports Management, downtown Detroit. We're glad that you're here, but I know you would rather be in Miami Gardens <laughs> if Baltimore had just made it there. We're going to ask you why they're not there Sure. a little sure. bit later. And we're going to talk a lot about Super Bowls, past and present. But first, Big Ten basketball in Michigan State with the loss yesterday at Wisconsin. We'll be right back. Three generations serving you at the David Chapman Agency, your local auto owners insurance agents. My name is Bill Huffnagel with Dark Bank. We would like to feature your local business. To enter to win, go to fox47news.com slash banking on business. American Metal Roofs is looking for 25 homes to be featured in case study videos produced by nationally syndicated TV show Today's Homeowner with Danny Lipford. All homes considered will receive a showcase home discount. Not all homes chosen will become video case studies. This is not a free roof offer. Video shooting begins spring 2020, so don't wait. Call 844-METAL ROOFS. That's 844-638-2576. Or submit your home for qualification at AmericanMetalRoofs.com slash TV. For over 20 years. The only station with a primetime newscast. Local news at a more convenient time. Hi, what can I get started for you? I'm going to have the extra large in black with the third row. Make it safe and reliable. And oh, hold the rest, please. Of course. We'll have your order for you right outside. And it's within your budget. At FamilyDeal.com, we believe your used car purchase should be as easy as ordering your favorite cup of coffee. It's your purchase, your way at La Fontaine. Shop thousands of certified pre-owned vehicles now at FamilyDeal.com. Boost up your wallet by switching to Boost Mobile from Buzz Wireless. Can it be now? It's season three now. 
Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Going Green segment brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River in Okemos. With 106 years in the automobile business, they'll take great care of you as they have in all seven of my leases and purchases. Go green, go Graf. The first thing that comes to mind, man, is all about family. And as I look around this arena, we're all grieving. We're all hurt. We're all heartbroken. But when we're going through things like this, the best thing you can do is lean on the shoulders of your family. And from Sunday morning all the way to this point, now I heard about Laker Nation before I got here last year about how much of a family it is. And that is absolutely what I've seen this whole week, not only from the players, not only from the coaching staff, not only from the organization, but from everybody. Everybody that's here, this is really, truly, truly a family. And I know Kobe and Gianna and Vanessa and everybody, thank you guys from the bottom of their heart, as Kobe said. That is LeBron James last night, uh, the first Lakers game in Staples Center since uh, the helicopter crash last Sunday that killed Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter, uh, Gianna, and seven others uh, in Southern California. Uh, we saw the emotional outpouring that continues to this point. Gentlemen, is there one word you can use to describe the Black Mamba, 18-time NBA All-Star and global icon, Jim Keaton, do you have a word for us? Uh, Jack, I think my word is memorable. I just think that he's created so many memories yeah. in so many different facets of, of his life as he's, you know, we've watched him grow up from a 17-year-old at yeah. Lower Marion, deal with some issues, right. great career, yeah. then family man, businessman. Paul Bobbitt, do you have a word, one word, to describe the Mamba mentality? I would have to go with uh, relentless. Mm, I love it. Um, you know, that's one. That's one. Um, uh, that's one aspect of his game that he portrayed out there on the basketball court. He was just relentless from from start to the finish. So uh, you knew you were up against a, a competitor uh, on the other side if you played against the Black Mamba. Yeah, absolutely. Doug Warren, what's your word? Uh, focus, whether he was focused uh, to be the best he could be as a player, for him to go on to win an Oscar for the, uh, you know, and to kind of do something totally out of the realm of, of what normal, <laughs> yeah, an average basketball player you think would do to direct a um, um, small, you know, a film that won an Oscar. <laughs> and then what he was trying to do uh, with regard to, um, you know, the focus he had on, on promoting women's basketball, just the, that focus that he had on whatever he tackled. Those are all good. I'll say driven, not just a drive to the basket, but and the story of Lakers rookies and they want to impress everyone so they get to the first practice early and Kobe's been there two hours already working on footwork no basketball just drills and this is later on in his career gentlemen uh, let's talk about a very strange week for Michigan State yep. Jim Keaton uh, the Spartans outscored Northwestern by 32 points in the span of 18 and a half minutes in a blowout win Wednesday and then today Showed up late again on the road in Madison, fell way behind, battled back, uh, but still lost to a depleted Badgers team. How does that happen? Jack, you know, the only answer I can give you is that they're still 
18 to 22 year old young men. They're still dealing with things that have gone on throughout the season. Um, they are traveling. It's, yeah. it's not an excuse, but in the NBA, teams get blown out by 40 points, and coaches just know that those nights are going to happen. Yeah, I'm just surprised that they've had so many this year. Yeah, and four, we say so many as two or three. It happens over and over on the road. It seems to with this team, not at Minnesota, but elsewhere. Paul, we saw Xavier Tillman, who has been terrific for most of this year, and today he missed five layup length shots he had another play the ball just got away no one around him what's going on i tell you you know uh tillman fantastic player just showing a little bit of his age maybe a little inconsistency yeah but it's a typical it's a typical tom Izzo team yeah uh you know you're gonna have your highs you're gonna have your lows you're saying it uh, builds to something else absolutely right? he works for the end of the season he works for the end of the season Doug Warren, let's take a quick look at the Spartans' schedule the rest of the way. And you see uh, the last 10 games, starting with yesterday's loss to Wisconsin. Nine games to go. Uh, can they win seven of those nine to get to the 15-5 and five that Tom Hill said would take to win a title? Uh, that schedule does not look like that's going to happen. I mean, so many road games against difficult teams. This is the toughest the Big Ten has been maybe ever. Uh, as we talked about earlier this week with Joe and Artie potentially putting 12 teams in yeah. the, from the Big Ten in the, in the, th the field of 64, 68. Uh, I can't see them going seven and two. Maybe they could get five wins, maybe six. If they get seven, that means they really turn it on and put today's uh, effort behind them for sure. Played without Gabe Brown, so uh, that was something that uh, probably hurt. Michigan with a big win in New York City over Rutgers, won two in a row. We'll be right back and we're gonna talk about the 49ers. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafokemos.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program, only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with it or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. It's another fall Friday night, and your kids should be playing, playing high school football. It's a fun game, and it's safer than ever. It's safe because the rules, the coaching, and the equipment are better than ever before. As a result, serious injuries are at an all-time low. Seriously. And Bill. Strong schools, lifetime memories, and tomorrow's community leaders. And it's mother approved. It's a great game, and we want to teach it to your kids. Miss Lego Masters. What happened? A new competition series Wednesday on Fox. The Gilmore Car Museum is more than just cars. Enjoy the gorgeous 90 acres of historic structures, including the fully functional diner. Special exhibits and events ensure you'll always see something new. Just a short drive from you, the Gilmore Car Museum. Hi, I'm Liz Horford. I'll sell your home fast and for the most. It's game day. Got everything you need? Run a last minute play to your local QD for sweets and treats, beers and drinks, snacks and chips, and our famous QD dip. You'll get in and out fast. Just look for the sign. It's always quality dairy time. The largest automotive museum in North America is in your backyard. Walk right up to history at the Gilmore Car Museum. Nearly 400 vehicles of every make, model, and era. Just a short drive from I-94 and US 131. Visit today. Let Bunker, Jackson's premier indoor gun range, now open. Had an opportunity to be here at the hotel and have our meetings, and uh, they're taking good care of us. And again, we look forward to the rest of the week getting ourselves ready to play against a real good football team in the 49ers. For that time, yours.
and, and Patrick's been fortunate to be in a good a good room with uh, good veteran players, and then to have the opportunity to um, to have Mike in there who played in the offense uh, and the system uh, all the way around timing of everything. He he's been great with that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, Sammy, he, he plays great football every single time he's out there. Uh, he does so much for our team uh, everywhere on the field. And with, with guys like Tyreek and, and Kelsey that they're trying to take away, Sammy has been make, putting in a, a really good postseason and really helping us get to where we're at. There you see Kansas City head coach Andy Reid, and he's been to the Super Bowl before, Doug. Yes. Didn't win it uh, with Philadelphia, but got a great chance now, a lot of people's minds, and Patrick Mahomes. Talk about receiver Sammy Watkins, and uh, I was complaining about I might do something else next year. Probably not the time to do that. <laughs> Doug, is Kansas City's offense the scariest in pro football, and is Patrick Mahomes the best player in the NFL? Um, well, I think it is the scariest because they're, they have so much speed and talent at every position, and, and you know, even though he didn't win the MVP this year, you can argue that Patrick Mahomes is the best player in football still. I mean, there's nothing that the guy cannot do. Yeah. Um, it, it's justified, as, as you know, I'm a big Lamar Jackson fan. He wins the MVP, but this is an incredible offense. They've speed at every position. They can run the football. Mahomes can can do everything you need a quarterback to do in the modern era. So it's, it's like pick your poison trying to stop them. Um, I think their opponent tomorrow, though, has the talent to be able to do that. He makes some plays, gentlemen, that you just don't yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Throws, uh, throws you'd never encourage someone to make across his body, going the other way, and somehow the ball gets where it's supposed to get. Uh, Jim Keaton, you've never been one to lack confidence. Well, when I asked you about the speed of Tyreek Hill compared to you in your playing days, you gave me a very interesting answer. I, Jack, I told you if we had a race, I'd beat him. <laughs> and, and how would you do that? I, I'd shoot him in both his hamstrings yeah. and then jump on his back and see how fast he can run. And you might beat him by a foot. Oh, well, I'd push him down before the finish line. They never said the race had to be fair. They just said who would win. We talked to Kansas City uh, all-time great Bobby Bell oh, this yeah. week on the drive with Jack, and he said that Tyree Kill is the fastest player he's ever seen in football, and that includes Bullet Bob Hayes, the world's fastest human. So uh, pretty fast. Uh, Paul Bobbitt, yes. Kansas City was a two-seat in the AFL playoffs and why is it the class of the AFL and why aren't the Baltimore Ravens here they had this two-headed rushing attack with league MVP Lamar Jackson and uh, this guy Mark Ingram absolutely uh, Mark Ingram Lamar Jackson two outstanding players yeah where are they at home oh. uh, <laughs> watching the game uh, unfortunately uh, I just believe that um, they went into the season, they probably had the best season Baltimore Ravens has ever had, 14-2. Yeah. and two. Yeah. Incredible season, but they probably needed to take a loss somewhere along that line yeah. just to bring them down a little bit. They were riding so high, um, they probably uh, started reading their press clippings, but um, um, they just didn't come to play. They I did not pick Baltimore. Uh, I picked Kansas City, and I didn't pick San Francisco, I picked New Orleans. Hmm. But I really believe that you have to learn how to play playoff games, and especially yeah. championship games. And if you've never been there before, good luck. Yeah, and then the Ravens were there last year in the playoffs, but it wasn't the same as Kansas City. Kansas City went all the way to the AFC Championship, and, yeah. and they had a, were on a mission to get back there. And, you know, if, if Ingram had been on Baltimore's team last year, he wasn't. He was in New Orleans. Maybe it'd be different, but I, I think Baltimore is around for the long haul. But, uh, you know, Kansas City, as you say, Jack, you got to pay your dues, and, and they did that last year. Now they have a chance to win the city's first championship in 50 years. How about that? A half century, ladies and gentlemen. Makes Lions fans optimistic. <laughs> but uh, only the third Super Bowl for Kansas City beat Minnesota in January of 1970. We'll be right back looking at the 49ers next. Holt and Diamonddale Insurance Agency with Auto Owners Insurance. Call your hometown team today.
I am a girl. I am smart. I am strong. And I can do anything. Inspiring. Fearless. Empowering. Strong. Passionate. Motivated. These women prove that there is no limit to what we can do. Learn more at fox47news.com slash women leaders. Bobcat of Lansing.com. One tough animal. Need money? Pawn Just Jewelry pays you more for your jewelry than anyone else. Need jewelry? Pawn Just Jewelry is a full service jewelry store that offers both new and estate jewelry that prices anyone can afford. Pawn Just Jewelry. It's exactly what it sounds like. Welcome everyone to the epicenter. Come on in. The only station with local news weekdays from 7 to 9 a.m. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Team Spirit Facebook More Cowbell Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. <clears throat> you realize how when playing against good teams, good quarterbacks, um, that you can never relax. Um, no matter what situation I've been in since then. Uh, you can ask our players, you can ask our coaches. I freaked out at Solo when he tried to take the starters out in Green Bay. Um, and or was in Minnesota. Yeah, it was Minnesota. Um, and we were up like three scores with two minutes to go and I freaked out and then I did the math and I thought it was all right. But um, you get some of that scars from that so you guys mess with me with that. But. I'm George Kittle, uh, who are you? <laughs> I'm Deion Sanders. Oh, oh, oh wow. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, sorry. You're, you're not that blocking tight end from last game. Right? You're no. that really good tight end that have had back-to-back 100-yard -back seasons, right? 1,000? Yeah, 1,000 yeah, yards. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. That's not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. I yeah. think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. That's you. I'm that guy. Yeah, but I do both. <laughs> Welcome back to Press Pass. It's uh, tracking a trophy part two, and there you see San Francisco coach Kyle Shanahan, son of Mike Shanahan. And George Kittle, does he have a career in the media? Yes. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Personality, former Iowa Hawkeye, and some people think he is going to revolutionize the tight end position. Doug Warren, are the San Francisco 49ers the best balanced team in football, and how did they go from four wins to 15 and counting? Well, I think they are the best uh, team on both sides of the football, I and mean, if they've shown that, I think, all year long. Um, how did they do it? Tremendous talent acquisition both in the draft and, and through free agency and trades. I, the free agent, uh, Richard Sherman, rejuvenated his career. They thought he was down and out in Seattle. No, he's not. He's still one of the best corners in the last 25 years. Trades, getting Jimmy Garoppolo and uh, uh, D. Ford drafting very well. Their front, uh, front four, three guys who they've drafted, Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead, DeForest Buckner, all at least seven and a half sacks this year. John Lynch is probably the best general manager in the NFL. And he's probably doing, I think, when you really look at it, as good a job as Bill Walsh did in the 80s of acquiring mm -hmm. talent both through trades and free agency. This team is not going anywhere anytime soon, I think, just because he's at the helm. Jim Keaton, quarterbacks get all the love, right? That's yeah. what linemen always say. But I want to talk about Raheem Mostert. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a guy in four years at Purdue, rushing and receiving total, 881 yards, six touchdowns. Talk about perseverance now with his seventh NFL team as an undrafted free agent. And last week, scores four rushing touchdowns as 220 yards. Reminded me of Timmy Smith in the Super Bowl coming out of nowhere. 
Jack, it's, it's all about taking advantage of opportunities. And this is a guy who's been cut six times, um, never wavered. Uh, I read the story uh, last week where he was talking about how he has the dates of every team that cut him. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's a testament. You know, Todd Christensen was cut five times, I believe, before he became an all-pro tight end. My favorite uh, undrafted free agent was Donnie Shell from the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he yeah. was just a hammer. He would <clears throat> hit you. And I, you know, just taking advantage of opportunities. And, that, and I think that's something for, for young people to understand and know, too. Even if you're sitting on the bench or if you're not playing, yeah. you still need to be prepared. It's kind of like the second team quarterback. You need to be ready because you never know when that never call's know. coming. Door opens, and, you gotta blow it off the hinges. And then you gotta just bring in Wally Pip yeah. and, and take advantage of those opportunities. The Purdue coaches are tired of answering the question, uh, how come you had that guy on the bench for four years? <laughs> uh, Paul, uh, uh, I'd like you to Put on a different hat here. We heard the commissioner's state of the NFL address. Uh, we're going to let you be Roger Goodell. And what was the first thing you would do if you were in that chair other than make sure you could spend his 40 plus million dollar a year compensation? Right. Um, I tell you, Roger, Roger Goodell has a lot of power. Um, first of all, the, uh, the collective bargaining agreement needs to be, well, it's going to be. Um, um, <clears throat> redone yeah. after next year. It's the most owner friendly, I think, in all the sports. It uh, is. It is. Uh, yeah. And one thing I would like to see change is is, is the guarantees. Um, players getting more guarantees uh, in terms of money. We need to be a little bit more equal to the NBA um, and and baseball. But NFL uh, owners say, yeah, we have so many more players than they do. Are you concerned about player safety? Oh, absolutely. Player safety is a must, and that's and that goes to the guarantees. Is the league doing enough? I, I do believe that they're stepping up, they're stepping their game up. Um, there's a lot of, uh, um, um, <clears throat> I guess, uh, not plays, but uh, a lot of things that they're they're implementing right, right. in the in the systems to make Safe sure that guards. This, yeah, to yeah. help the uh, players with safety. safety Some of the issues. linemen. Jim, you still think that, uh, you know, quarterbacks wear dresses and uh, in the National Football League, you can't hit anybody anymore. I hear that a lot from defensive players. I just don't understand targeting when the ball carrier lowers the plane and uh, the defensive player is moving at the same level. I, I don't know how that's an ejection foul. We will be back in just a minute. We're going to take a look at Super Bowl history. Doug Warren with all of his Super 5 lists coming up next. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOakmouth.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with it or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. This is the XFL on Fox. Granger Construction. Advance the art of building. New instruments or old? White Brothers Music can fix up the right one for you. Come out to White Brothers Music in Bath, your guide to the world of music since 1976. If you owe 10000 or more to the IRS or state, this may be the most important phone call you'll ever make. I owed 87000 in taxes. But listen. Your tax problem is settled. You only owe $3,500. What a great message. I owed $11,000 on my taxes. But now... Congratulations, you only owe $2,068. How's that sound? If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number or go to tax10,000.com. 
even if you are already at the point where you're struggling with levies and garnishments, let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. We owe the IRS $48,000. But check out what we actually paid. Are you sitting down? You only owe $3,571. Call 800-969-1677 or go to tax10,000.com. That's 800-969-1677. Fox 47 News at 10. Giving mid-Michigan their late news an hour earlier. Local news at a more convenient time. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our cool and smooth segment brought to you by the five Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. That's Culver's Welcome to Delicious. I hit Otis Taylor with a little hitch pass. Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Probably the final play of the game in regulation. It is caught by Dyson. Can he get in? No, he cannot. Pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning stays on his feet, airs it out down the field. It is caught by Tyree. This ball's thrown, and Tyree just goes up for it like a basketball player. Harrison trying to knock it down. 12-10 the score, Buffalo third quarter. Hostetler has the ball, and the snap throws. Complete! He's got Ingram for maybe a first down. He'll try to the 20. Yes, he's got it. What effort. So many great plays in the first 53 Super Bowls, gentlemen. But there you have Doug Warren, Super 5, yeah. the countdown. From five to one, and number one, you've been talking about that play forever. Yeah, uh, as soon as I saw that play, I was watching the game. I still lived at home. It's what, how many ever years ago, 20, 30 years ago, watching the game at home with my dad. As soon as that play happened, and I'd watched a crap load of football by then. I was I was like 20 years old. I'm a football nut. I turned to my dad and said, that's the greatest play I've ever seen. And that my mind has not changed in that long. Yeah, the, nice job by the crew, by the way, getting all those plays together. Those are the five plays, that and great. that Mark Ingram play, I'll probably take that one to the grave as being the best play I've ever seen, and especially when it came on the third down, the longest uh, drive at that time, at 14 plays, 75 yards. They had to score to stay ahead of the Bills in that game. It's just a, it was a fantastic play. Mark Ingram, you've heard that name, Paul. Yeah, that name does <laughs> nice sound play, familiar. Right? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. The yeah. worst play in Super Bowl history, uh, I think, was Garo Yapremian. After a uh, block <laughs> he kick, picked up the ball right. and tried to throw it and hit himself in the head, and the ball popped up and Mike Bass psh, for a touchdown. You got to appreciate the effort, but yeah, the, the execution wasn't that good. What about your top five games of all time? Uh, top five games of all time. Um, you see him right there. Uh, you know, the 49ers, Bengals. Uh, that was the Joe Montana uh, to um, John Taylor play. Right. They needed to do that. They were behind the Bengals. Steelers, uh, Cowboys, 35-31, two of the best teams of the 1970s. Um, Hall of Famers all over the field. And that's one of the epic games, I think, of all time. We talked about the Giants and Bills, right. a clash of styles, and uh, coming down to a last-second field goal miss in that case. The greatest comeback in Super Bowl and maybe NFL history, really, Patriots and uh, Falcons. Um, coming back, the Patriots did from 28 to three, and then you have to have Super Bowl three as the number one game uh, because 18 and a half point underdogs. Nobody gave the Jets except the Jets a chance, and Changed then they pulled off football. It did. It, 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 it absolutely did. All right. Very quickly, what about your top five teams? The Super Top Bowl five era. teams, uh, 69 Kansas City Chiefs. They didn't even win their own division that year, but they had to go on the road and beat the Jets in Shea Stadium. Yeah. They had to beat the division winner out west, uh, the Raiders, Raiders in Oakland. They did, and then they pulled another big upset against the Vikings in the Super Bowl. The Steelers in 1978, I think that's the best team that the Steelers had in that dynasty of uh, beating the Cowboys. Uh, the 93 Cowboys, back-to-back -back Super Bowls for Jimmy Johnson's crew. Uh, the 84 49ers, I think that was the best team of the Walsh, uh, George Seifert era. Only lost one time that year, and they beat the great Miami Dolphins team of Dan Marino and company in the Super Bowl. And then 
you know, you got to put the 85 Bears at number one. Two shutouts in the playoffs. They didn't allow a touchdown until the Super Bowl itself, and that just made them mad, and, you know, they just took it out on the Patriots. Steve Grogan is still in an ice bath uh, yeah, from that game, by the way, with all PTSD. those sacks. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, what about the top five players? This, this one's tough. difficult. And I tried not to load it up with quarterbacks. Uh, number five, Chuck Howley. The only guy on a losing team to be Super Bowl MVP, and he yeah. played in two consecutive Super Bowls, and as a linebacker in 70 and 71, three interceptions in two Super Bowl games. Bart Starr, the first uh, MVP of the first two Super Bowls, one of the great quarterbacks of all time. Franco Harris, of all the great Steeler teams, he was probably the most clutch. You could point to specifics in every one of their Super Bowl wins where he was the guy who made the big play. Uh, Tom Brady goes without saying. And then Joe Montana uh, didn't lose a Super Bowl game and was a three-time MVP with winning four in the process. Jim, Paul. What did he miss? Where's he wrong? Lynn Swan. Lynn Swan. Oh, Doug I, I Williams. thought about Lynn Swan. Doug Williams. Yeah, I was going to go with Doug Williams, absolutely. Yeah. Uh -huh. And sweetness, even though he didn't get a touch, he did get his ring. He got his ring, but he didn't want to talk about I, that I, game. He was so bitter about it. I I still sorry you didn't give him the ball there. We could have this debate and probably will long <laughs> after we're off the air. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Come back next Sunday. We'll still be sitting here talking about this. When we get back, we're going to talk about, yes, the Detroit Lions, our Law of the Jungle segment. And we'll talk about uh, if the Lions can possibly ever make it to a Super Bowl in our lifetime. These guys are younger than I am. We'll be right back. <clears throat> Call Overhead Door of Lansing for the finest in residential and commercial garage doors, plus commercial entry doors. Overhead Door leads the way with professional installation and support, serving mid-Michigan for over 90 years. For fast service and repairs, call Overhead Door of Lansing today. What do you call a health plan that gives you access to over 62,000 health care providers across the state? I'd say that's one great health plan. What do you call a health plan that offers free classes in health and wellness? I call that one great health plan. What do you call a health plan that lets you see your claims history? For me, that's one great health plan. What do you call one of the best health plans in Michigan? That's easy. McLaren Health Plan. McLaren Health Plan. One great health plan. At a and every day is Fish Friday with our pub-style baskets. Choose from a 16-piece shrimp basket, three-piece cod basket, or new cod sliders basket, all served with fries and coleslaw. Try them now, only at A&W. The only station with local news weeknights at 6.30. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. The Ticket Machine is your local connection to concert, theater, and sporting event tickets nationwide. Our entertainment experts are ready to help you create a memorable experience, trusted by fans for more than 20 years. Whether you're looking for tickets for your corporate outing, family excursion, or vacation, we offer the best seats and the best prices. Grab a front row seat now on theticketmachine.com. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47, our Super Sunday special. Time for our Law of the Jungle segment brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. I'm talking about chicken shawarma with baked breast meat and hummus made fresh in a three-day process. That's why I'm there every week. Stop and see Chuck, Delita, and their terrific staff on Trowbridge, or find Woody's favorites at Tom's Foods, Horrocks, and all across campus. Tobin Roach electrifies Lion Loyalists and breaks the Browns' back. Tobin tosses a cross-country pass to Jim Dorn, and the play goes all the way. 
It's a sensational 78-yard touchdown. Fourth quarter and the Lions roars as loud as ever. Tobin Road completes his 12th pass on 19 tries. Dave Middleton makes the catch of the day as he spears the pig pelt with a fancy Dan dive that dazes the Browns and amazes the crowd. Jerry Rykow, the new quarterback, gives Cassidy an inside handoff and hop along, hops along for 35 yards. A play, Jerry Rykow joins the scoring parade with this thriller from Miller. Hop along Cassidy, loops a lasso around the leather and it's touchdown Lions. The final score reads Detroit Lions 59, Cleveland Browns 14. Chuck Daniel, our director, really had to dig deep for that video. <laughs> uh, well, all the way back, uh, 63 seasons. And yeah. uh, Doug Warren, that was the first football game I ever saw. Yeah, lucky you. And my dad said I jinxed him that uh, never win again because I went and saw that one. But when you think about uh, the Lions, if you are a younger version of Martha Firestone Ford, yeah. How do you get the Lions to a Super Bowl in your lifetime and don't say by selling the team? Right. Um, right. Well, I mean, if, if I was Martha, Martha Firestone Ford uh, at the end of December, I would have fired the general manager and the head coach because I'd clearly made a mistake. Look, uh, the problem is is uh, the, they haven't had a general manager and, a, uh, for the most part, a head coach on the same page. And, and when they do are on the same page like they are now, they're not making good decisions. I mean... You look at what the 49ers have done with John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan. Great talent acquisition, nailing draft picks, making key trades, doing what you need to do in free agency without overspending, which I think you could argue the Lions have been doing now with Trey Flowers and others. Look, uh, it, you got to get the right general manager in there, and you got to get a head coach, and you have to have a plan that works. Well, Richard Sherman said this week that I, I didn't want to go to Detroit. They offered me $20 million in, in guaranteed money. Yeah. I didn't want to go there because I didn't like the culture, and I don't want to play for a culture that wants to be like the Patriots. Jim That's Keaton, your son Darren, uh, drew paychecks from the Lions organization for a few years, starting in uh, 2013. Yep. Okay. How has Detroit defied uh, all of the odds in an era of enforced parity and has had one playoff win in the last 63 years? Well, I think Doug hits the nail on the head. You know, there's a culture of winning, and that culture is established by your coach and your general manager. Um, I can tell you when I was in Denver, I didn't like Dan Reeves. Yeah. But I respected him but because he winning. was he was about winning. Yeah. It, it wasn't about the personalities. It was about what do we need to do to be successful to win. It should be a popularity contest at this level of football, yeah. right? Yeah. I would think. You see so many Lions players going to other teams now and excelling yeah. when they leave Detroit. And it's not just with this regime. It was a previous one with Martin Mayhew. You saw it even with uh, Matt Millen. Guys like um, uh, Jeff Hardings, who had been a first-round pick for the Lions, going and winning Super yeah. Bowls in Pittsburgh. I mean, it's been something that's been going on for a long time. I talked to these guys and say, hey, you got traded. I said, no, I got paroled. Right. right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Paul, uh, you grew up in suburban Detroit, uh, Southfield. That's right. Right? That's right. What would happen in the Motor City and in most of the rest of the state of Michigan if the Lions ever really roared? Well, let's see what would happen. Um, they say it never rains in Southern California, <laughs> but uh, in Detroit, it, the sun would probably consistently shine. Uh, multiple parades would take place, uh, not only for the Super Bowl, but for the whole city. Uh, they used to call Detroit the city of champions. Yeah. Right? yeah. Tigers were really good. The Red Wings won all the time. They didn't have pro basketball then, but the Lions won three championships in the 50s. Yeah, the Red Wings won, what, four that decade? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, I mean, everyone was uh, idolized Detroit. They said, wow, you live in Detroit. You got all this stuff now. <laughs> and you think about the number of teams that have not been to a Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, there's a list of teams that have not won a Super Bowl, and there are 12 of them, but there are only four that have never been to the game. The Lions and Browns, and the original teams, and then expansion teams in Jacksonville and uh, the Houston Texans, and even the Browns, those guys went to Baltimore and won. Yeah. So uh, the Lions kind of have their <laughs> own uh, ignominy with that. Can't seem to get anything done, but, uh, you know, hope springs eternal. 
Now with the number three draft pick. You wonder, is this the time to take a quarterback and bring in Tua, trade Stafford? Do they trade down? Do they get the defensive anchor they need? Problem is, they need about eight things. Yeah. They have the one pick. Yeah. We'll be back in just a minute. We're going to look at this whole day here on Fox 47. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Liz Horford. I'll sell your home fast and for the most. The three degree guarantee, only on Fox 47 News. Kincaid Building Group. Michigan made and supports both local and statewide communities looking to advance their development through construction. A&J Transmission. They fix everything. Ted, looking a little stressed. Well, Doc, I've got a solution. I'm going to recommend the LaughQ debit card. It's fast acting. Leads to increased satisfaction every time you use it. Set alerts and travel notifications for added peace of mind. Plus, you can turn it on or off, keeping your money safe. And I can add it to my mobile wallet? Thanks, Doc. Of course. Now then, let's start the exam. Hmm? Feel better. Get the LaughQ debit card today. LaughQ, your credit union for life. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else. Peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOakmouth.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with it, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for The Big Picture, brought to you by Dean Trailways. With trips for every season, Dean takes care of the details so you can enjoy the experience, including great runs to Chicago and Northern Michigan. Doug Warren and I were just in Chicago for the NFL Legends Classic. That's Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Very happy to be joined by a special guest. Thank you, Jack. Gary Baxter, General Manager of Fox 47. What a day here what a on day. Fox, huh? What a day. You know what, Jack? Thank you for having me, first and foremost. And, you know, we start at 10 in the morning with your show, right? And we go all night long. So let's, let's, let's talk about that. Well, I appreciate this because yeah. there's a chance for another audi audience, not Insomniacs. Right. Yeah, not Insomniacs. People who do not normally yeah. stay up till midnight, right. they can catch the show from 10 to 11. And we're going to be back on a couple hours after the game. Right. So people can see how bad our predictions were. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, so we go right from your show uh, into, I don't know if you're a big fan of uh, Skip and uh, Shannon and Undisputed, mm -hmm. uh, their show on FS1. So that takes us till noon. And then the, uh, the uh, NFL Network has its uh, show, The Road to the Super Bowl, is actually one of those NFL films classics that I yeah. just love watching. Yeah. One o'clock kicks into Carissa Thompson and the NFL kickoff show. And then at two o'clock, the big boys come in, right? It's Terry, it's it's Howie, it's Jerry, you know the names. Right, and then of course, the game from Hard Rock Stadium right. behind right. us. Right. And yeah. then the post game. Yes, yes. You'll have trophy presentation, all of the interviews, and you then bet. some Fox programming. Well, let's, let's go back though, but yeah. you know, because it's J-Lo and Shakira. Oh. You see, so you've got uh, Demi Lovato is yeah. singing uh, the national anthem this year. Right. Uh, and then the halftime show is, uh, is all Latina. Uh, They're very proud of their heritage, and it's going to be just an absolute spectacle. I, can, I can't wait. No equipment malfunctions no at equi halftime. Uh, no, 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 of course not. 
What about the game itself, Gary? Uh, you are as much into pro yeah. football, and I'm glad you wore your championship yeah. ring. Got my chip. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's There's the my Super Bowl Super ring, Bowl ladies and ring right there. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk a little bit about these two teams. Yeah. San Francisco, number one seed yeah. in the NFC, and Kansas City. Right. What a high-powered offense right. came from behind to win a couple of playoff games. Well, for those who got to watch that NFC Championship game and saw the San Francisco Niners, 49ers just really decimate the Packers yeah. and that defense. Yeah. Uh, it was a dream matchup for Fox, right? You take this unbelievably strong defensive team against the most explosive, most fun to watch offensive uh, firepower sh uh, team on the planet, put them together, and I think it could make for just a real classic for us. And as as big a Lions fan as you are, it yes. probably didn't hurt you to see the Packers lose. You know what? I, but as a Fox station in yeah. the Midwest, I wouldn't have minded you the Packers. You wouldn't have minded I would that. not have, have minded. All right too. So I would have been okay with that. But I think from a competitive football standpoint, I'm really thrilled this is this the way that it worked out. And I love the promo teases you've been running all week on yeah. Fox 47. Three things the Lions need to do to make the Super Bowl. We had a hard time limiting that to three. <laughs> Please, yes. Do you have one? Do you have one you'd suggest? You know, um, it is somehow get the mojo from 2018's defense back. That's it. The offense is fine. It's got to get the mojo back. How about keeping Matthew Stafford all healthy? Right, all right, Would there that be a, good? There is a small. Some other players who have, yes. they've had bad luck with injuries. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they've they had have. bad luck with drafting. They've had bad luck with, co oh, I won't go yeah, there. That's right. Yeah, a lot that's of right. those things. Too. Yeah, watching uh, Martin Mayhew uh, um, celebrating with his 49ers uh, was uh, a little you yeah. know, disconcerting, but that's okay. Well, there is a consolation for Lions fans. Yes. This is the 50th anniversary of the Chiefs' last yeah, appearance. right. So it can happen. And the 49ers, they won four games a year That's right. ago. That's right. So, yeah, there's a lot of buzz out there about, you know, who are those next people that could be yeah. that. And the Lions might be one of those teams. And that's one yeah. of the things I yeah. love about the NFL. Yeah. Uh, unlike college football, where you can pretty much identify who the top 10 teams yeah. are going to be, maybe an exception or two. The NFL, they shake it up and yeah. roll them out every year. Well, and you know what? And uh, not to, to pump it up, but XFL is coming back to Fox next weekend so that'll be those, fun too will those be our next uh, NFL players that probably will we'll be right back with more here on press pass what's really important to me is being able to have a partner and dart bank has been that for me I'm Eric Nelson I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn I've worked with John Morris uh, at dart bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. The only station with a weather guarantee. Fox 47 News. Three generations serving you at the David Chapman Agency, your local auto owners insurance agents. Boost up your wallet by switching to Boost Mobile from Buzz Wireless. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Welcome, everyone, to the epicenter. Come on in. You're watching Fox 47's Family of Stations. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Take It to the Bank segment, brought to you by Dart Bank. Dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years, with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. I'm very excited to be here in Miami with 
Hall of Famer, Troy Palomalu. This is the door you just got the knock. How do you even put this into words? <laughs> Honestly, I don't It's just surreal. It really feels surreal. Very thankful for all my teammates that um, this truly is a tribute to them. And I feel honored and unworthy of this, to be honest. So. The boys are here. Your wife is here. The family. How great is it to share this experience with them? I wouldn't want to share with anybody else, of course, as anybody knows anything about me. So um, definitely looking forward to celebrating with my teammates and family as well later. Remember Troy Palomalu at USC, and he was pretty spectacular then, but we didn't know what kind of impact he would have changing diving over the line of scrimmage. Doug, uh, when we take a look at this Hall of Fame class for 2020, are you okay with it? Uh, I'm okay with everybody uh, except, no no offense to the guy, but Steve Atwater. I, if I had a vote, which I don't, um, I would have put Leroy Butler, uh, the safety from Green Bay, or Alan Fanica, uh, the offensive lineman from Pittsburgh. And I, I think Butler was nearly, if not as good as Palomalu was at the safety position. I, I'm surprised he's still um, being overlooked as far as being in the Hall of Fame. And Alan Fanica is one of the great guards of all time. So uh, I don't think that Atwater did enough to me to, yeah. to be warranted in the Hall of Fame. All right, Team 322, it's time for your fearless forecast. And before we get to you, uh, we want to bring in uh, the hottest handicapper. We're talking about Steve Wing, a.k.a. Daily Double, and he has not missed during the playoffs. Uh, you're on a roll here, Daily. What is it, 14 in a row? 14 straight games against the spread. Seven weeks in a row, picking two. All two right, games. everybody's waiting to put their money down. They want to hear what Daly has to say. Give well, us your score for tonight's game and your MVP so everyone can get to their bookie. Oh, I like San Francisco. I believe it would be 24, tw or 27-24 San Francisco. MVP is Jimmy Garoppolo, and I believe San Francisco seals the deal with a turnover late in the fourth quarter. Wow. Okay, well, wow. I've heard that before. I've been listening <laughs> to Doug Warren all week with this. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, uh, I want your score. Uh, Jim Keaton, who wins Super Bowl 54, and who is going to be the player of the game? Well, I, I got to agree. I, I'm going with uh, the San Francisco 49ers. You almost uh, like running games. That's what it is. And, and, <laughs> and, well, I, I do have a connection with Coach Shanahan because he was our offensive coordinator in Denver when I was there. Yeah. And we had a few guys, Sammy Winder, Gerald Wilhite, who could you know, just, they filled the bill and uh, Gene Lang, and, and running the football, even though Baltimore wasn't able to do it against Kansas City last week, I just feel like the offensive line of San Francisco will be able to move the ball effectively. Um, right, give me your score and your MVP. I'm going to go with George Kittle as my MVP. Okay. And it's going to be San Francisco 33, Kansas City 32. Whoa, 33-32. Wow. Paul Bobbitt, who do you like and why? What score do you have and who's player of the game? Well, let's see. We got uh, Kansas City and we have okay. San Francisco 49ers. Yes. I like Kansas City. Okay. Uh, Kansas City uh, seems to be a quick hitter. Yeah. Um, I like the way they've been playing for the past two seasons. What's your score and uh, your player the, of the game? I see the score at 34-24. to 24. And right. the player of the game is Mahomes. Doug, your score, and who's going to Disney World? Uh, San Francisco 35, Kansas City 33, and I agree with Jim. I think you're going to have our first uh, tight end as MVP, George Kittle. All right, we're going to even it up here, Paul. I'm going to say Kansas City 30 to 27, Mr. Mahomes, em embarking on many Super Bowls. Want to thank Doug Warren, our NFL Detroit Lions historian, and producer of the Drive with Jack, Jimmy Keaton. Played in the NFL, uh, Arizona State, and Paul Bobbitt, VIP Sports Management. Stay tuned for 13 hours here on Fox 47. All right. Did I get up?